Boiler Dan 1, and my motto is I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And I document things that I buy and then use. So today I'm going to unbox this Master Airbrush. I have never airbrushed in my life. I did a little bit of research. I will show what's in the box. And then if you follow along, next episode I'll show myself trying to learn how to use one of these things. So let's look and see what's in the box. The model TC320HB Master Airbrush Compressor Kit. Now the kit itself is the SP7B-20. Here's the compressor unit. There are two models. One has an air tank under it and then this one only runs when you're spray painting. To some people that's a negative, but I'm not going to be painting for long periods of time. It's fairly lightweight. I'm sure you can look up and see how much it weighs. I'll try and zoom in on this tag so you can read the specifics about it. It's a one-fifth horsepower electric motor. The cord itself is six foot in length, and the pressure hose is also six foot in length, and it's a nice flexibility. I chose this unit after seeing some reviews and uh, it's uh, the cool runner too and I believe it has two cooling fans in it. Mine came with a three airbrush holder. I didn't see anywhere in the instructions how it attaches. It was obvious it would go up here and then I finally figured out there's a little nut here, a little plastic nut that just comes off. This slides on and it'll hold all three of the airbrushes that came with it. The other thing is to change the pressure, you lift up on this, and I was lifting it, didn't seem to be budging. Well, it takes a little bit to get that to pop up, and then pushing it down locks it back in place. Part of the reason I chose this particular version of this uh, compressor is that it came with three different airbrushes, and being someone that's never airbrushed before, I didn't want to invest a lot of money uh, up front until I determine if I enjoy it and if I'm capable of doing it. So that being said, this is the one that I expect I will use the most. Um, I'm painting some pretty small miniatures that will go on a model ship that I'm creating and this holds the smallest amount of paint. I don't know that much about them so I can't give you too much information there. Comes with a little wrench and a connector. Each one of them comes with a quick reference guide and then this card and on the back you can scan that and it has uh, some videos, teaching videos that you can review. So I will go through some of those and then we'll see how well I can paint. Second brush has a little bit bigger reservoir and that's what I'm guessing is the reason so if you're doing a little more painting this will hold more paint I would guess that might be the main difference again I can't tell you for sure again a wrench little eyedropper to take paint and squeeze it in there or liquids again connectors and then the third which I would guess is for even larger scale painting it comes with its own hose attachment and then there are little bottles that uh, contain your paint. So again that was the main reason I chose this particular style was to get those brushes. In addition this kit comes with a selection of primary colors or six colors and then the other two bottles are uh, this is airbrush reducer and extender base I'm assuming that's to water down your paint more. And then this one is the cleaner. Instruction booklet on that. User's guide, color chart. Next and probably important are brushes to clean the unit with. Your instruction manual. This might come in handy. This is a color wheel so you can see what colors you can get by mixing different primary colors. And again a small instructional guide on how to airbrush. 
I've gone ahead and, and hooked everything up. I did turn this on for a second and I adjusted the air pressure. It's not hard to do. I just need to turn it down. Uh, this is, well, an arm length away from where the microphone is for this video. You really can't tell as far as sound on a video, but uh, I'll go ahead and, and give a little test. And I already know that you just push down for air. And there you saw it turned on for just a second. And then to actually paint, you'll pull your finger back. So this is the first ever. Oh, it does not have paint in it. I just put in water. So I'm just going to play with it. I don't know if you could see my little water line on the paper or not. Well, yeah, I think you can. Very interesting. Not real loud. And I do know that you start air first and then you pull back. And the more you pull back, the more paint or, in this case, water you'll get to spray out. Closer is more intense. You can see I have overspray there. By watching some videos, I know what that means. So it's not too noisy. And where I'm going to put it, it's about two and a half to three feet away from me. So it won't even put out that much noise. So I'm actually kind of excited to get started and actually use some real paint. That's what comes in the box for the Master Airbrush Paint Kit. We'll see how it works out for me. I hope, uh, hope it's something that I learn to enjoy. It doesn't take up much space. You can see over here on my little shelving unit, that's its home. It's about two foot away from where my paint booth will be. I've got a little cardboard cutout thing that'll fit here when I do some painting. I hope you'll stick around. Maybe if you've never subscribed to my channel, subscribe now and keep an eye on when I start learning how to paint. If you're already a subscriber, do me a favor, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>